What's going on? What's happening, fellas? It's your boy KD. Let's get right into it. So if you're new to my channel, the point of my videos is to help you become a top tier man and become the best version of yourself. Now, if you're in your 20s, today's video is for you. And also if you're in your 30s as well, these are some things that you definitely still should be paying attention to. But mainly for my guys in their 20s, I want to show you every single mistake that I made that I want you to avoid. And if you avoid these mistakes, you will more than likely stand out from 95% of men in your 30s, 40s, and well on. All right, fellas. Now, the first thing, and by the way, guys, I'm 33 years old. All right, fellas. And I've made many, many mistakes in my 20s that I wish I would not have made. And actually, to be honest, most of these mistakes, I'm glad I made them because I'm able to teach you guys and I'm able to help you have a better outcome later on One in your of life. The problems that I had in my 20s was at times I had a fear of failing. I had a fear of embarrassing myself or looking bad in front of people or looking like a rookie or looking like I didn't know how to do anything, which will cause me to not take risk. OK, guys, what you have to understand most of the time in your 20s, people do not care. You can make mistakes, you can fail, you can trial and error. You can do a lot of that in your 20s because people do not care. So if you're worried about being embarrassed, if you're worried about posting something on social media and it not going good, uh, maybe you ran out of money or your business failed or, you know, you planned to do something and it didn't work out. Gee, don't worry about it. All right, gee, most of the time people don't care. People are not going to remember this stuff 10 years later or 20 years later or whatever. OK, guys, so. One. Now, number two is comparing. And this is going to really cater to this generation that we live in now is because of social media. All right, guys, one of the things I will advise you not to do is to constantly compare yourself with other people, especially people who are older than you or who are at a higher level than you. One of the things you have to understand is the reason why people at a higher level than you have gotten to where they've gotten is because of one, taking risk and a few other things I'm gonna to explain to you today, but they had to go through things. It takes time to get to a upper echelon in any area in life, okay guys? So you have to understand this. So you can't get too caught up in rushing and you know instant gratification. You gotta understand you can't compare yourself to people. So where you are in life may not be what somebody else is in life. Basically what I'm saying is, let's say you're 21 years old and you just got out of college. And you're looking at a guy who's driving around in a Lambo. He got millions of dollars. You have, you have to understand he put in work to get that. You just got out of college. So you're comparing yourself to him and it's depressing you and it's making you feel like you're a failure in your life when really it just ain't your turn yet. Okay. If you want that, you have to put in work to get that, but maybe you're on a different path. All right, guys. So you have to understand this when you're young. Now, when you start getting up in age, in your 30s and 40s and there's things that you haven't accomplished yet and you're comparing yourself to people in your age bracket yes that is a form of competition and that that means you just need to speed shit up you know and get to work but at the same time don't be comparing yourself in your 20s okay you are on your personal journey your journey is unique that's why it's your journey all right fellas now number three wasting time one of the things that i regret doing I don't have many regrets in my life. Most of the things that I've done in my life, I don't say sorry for because I did them on purpose. But one of the things I wish I could have took back and one of the things that is very, very valuable to everybody walking this planet is time. Okay, guys, when you're in your 20s, you get this illusion that you have all of the time in the world. And in reality, you don't. Okay. If you're 25 years old, I just want you to think back of how fast these last five years have blown by. Okay, guys, just how quick they've blown by, the next five years are going to blow by even faster because the older you get, it's like time goes by even faster. Okay, so one of the things you have to understand is in your 20s, you do not have time to waste. Okay, that is the time where you're at your youngest, your testosterone is at its highest, you are at your strongest, you have more energy, uh, you can heal faster, just everything you can learn better and quicker in your 20s. Um, and the reason why I say you can learn better and quicker in your 20s is because as you get older, you start to develop some residue in your brain and you develop old habits and bad habits and it's harder for you to take in newer information for most people. That's why I say it's easy to be molded in your your uh, your 20s because you're less likely to 
have all these bad memories and things like that. But anyway, guys, don't waste time in your 20s. Okay, guys, don't waste time. You don't have time. Okay, you don't have time. From 19 to 29, that is a 10-year span that you can get a lot of work done if you focus and you do not waste time. Now, number four, all right? And this one is very, very valuable. And one of the things that I got caught up in doing for the first between the ages of 19 and 28, all I did was chase women. All right, fellas. And this is one of the things I will tell you. Now, I'm not going to say I totally regret this because in that time, in that um, eight to 10 year span, I learned a lot about women. And I'm, now I'm able to teach you guys a lot about it. I, I made a lot of mistakes with women. I've been through a lot of women. I've experienced a lot of different things in that 10 year span. That's why, where I got red pills and I started to understand female nature and intersexual dynamics. So I'm not gonna say I regret it, but I would advise you not to waste your 20s chasing women. All right, fellas, do not waste your 20s chasing women because this is the reality about it. No matter if you're in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, your 70s, your 80s, you live up to be 120 years old. The older you get, the better opportunities and the more opportunities you have of women. And the reality is women aren't going anywhere. All right, fellas, women aren't going anywhere in your 20s. The reason why you end up chasing women is because in your 20s, you have no value. You haven't accomplished anything. Yeah, you may be attractive. You may be a Chad. You may have body game, but most women aren't going to take you serious. Most quality women aren't going to take you serious. You're going to deal with a few single moms, a couple hood rats, a couple thoughts. But at the end of the day, guys, it's pointless to chase women in your 20s because even if you do find the woman of your dreams, more likely, especially in 2024, she's not going to look at you as marriage potential if you don't have the financial resources that you need to be able to take care of this woman as far as protecting and providing. So therefore, in your 20s, if you don't meet women, and I'm not saying you can't deal with women in your 20s, what I'm saying is you shouldn't be actively chasing women. If you meet a chick and she is on your team and on your program and she is an asset to your life and she's ready to be down for you, gee, in your 20s, it's valuable to have at least one woman like that. Maybe two, but at least one. All right, guys, that'll do anything for you because you won't need that motivation while you grinding in your 20s. But while you out chasing women, bro, and doing all this stuff, going to the club and actively trying to, you know, smash chicks, bro, that's for the birds. That's not going to help you get to where you need to be later on in your life. It's just going to be a waste. And then you're going to look back like, damn, bro, I had all that opportunity to be able to get a lot of stuff done, but I was chasing women. All right. My pen fell. Anyway, so. Number five, trying new things. Okay, guys. Now, I was very adventurous and very optimistic in my 20s, but I wish I would have tried more things. And when I say trying new things, I mean explore, guys. It's okay to fail in your 20s. You need to fail and fail fast. Okay, guys. A lot of men take too long to learn and too long to, too long to fail and too long to figure out what's not good and what they shouldn't do. All right, so if you're thinking about starting like a side business or a side hustle, gee, start it. You're 22, 25, 27 years old. Bro, you have time. You have six months to waste to try to figure out if a business is good for you. Maybe it's not. Maybe it failed, but at least you know. And you can use those skills for something else later on in life. I always say whatever you're doing right now may not be the thing that, you, that you're going to end up doing, but it may be the thing that leads to the thing. Basically, what I'm doing right now, as far as teaching you guys on YouTube, I went through a lot of different things to be able to get to this point. I did a lot of public speaking. I did a lot of learning. I did a lot of conferences. I did a lot of networking groups, a lot of different things. To And at the time, I was like, bro, what is all this stuff for? Why am I doing all these things? And most of them didn't work out. Now I'm at the point to be able to take all these things and put them together to be able to share with the world. So, guys, try new things. Be adventurous in your 20s. All right, fellas. Now, number six, another thing that you need to do in your 20s, a mistake that I made in my 20s that I should have made and I should have set more boundaries. All right, guys, you got to set boundaries. And what I mean is in your personal relationships and in relationships with women. All right, fellas, you have to set boundaries. And the reason why is this is going to have a lot to do with your confidence as you get older in life. 
Okay, guys, as in your 20s, what I find is a lot of young men don't set boundaries and they got to go through a lot of bullshit to get to a point to say, now I'm going to start respecting myself and now I'm going to start taking care of my mental health and now I'm going to start stop letting people take advantage of me. All right, fellas, you got to do this early because the earlier you do this, the tougher your skin is going to be as you get older. Now, I never really had a big problem with setting boundaries, but there were some areas in my life where I was lacking. Like when it came to friends, I never had a problem with setting boundaries. So at, when I was young, G, 25, 26, I got rid of a lot of toxic friendships early. But my problem was with women. All right, fellas, my problem was with women is I didn't know how to tell women no. Like I would do anything for the box. All right, fellas, and that messes up your confidence as you get older because you start training yourself that the box is just this magical, like... Like most of my life, I've always been purple pill, G. I've always been purple pill and I've always been in long-term relationships. So what I had a problem with is I would let women, you know, cross boundaries with me. You know, I never tolerated women yelling at me, but sometimes I would let them. You know, now I'm at the point where once a woman raises her voice to talk back to me, like I close the door, like it's over after that. I give you one shot, let you know I don't like it. If you keep doing it, it's over after that. I'm not going to even argue with you. But when I was younger, I used to argue with women a lot. You know, I used to argue with women a lot. And that's something as a man, I will always advise you not to do. Never argue with a woman. You let her know that that's one of your boundaries. I do not argue. So if we get to the point where I'm going back and forth with you, nah, we're not going that far. All right. So that's just a quick example of a boundary that you need to set. Now, number seven, learning and self-developing. In your 20s, you should be nonstop learning and self-development. Really, for the rest of your life, you should always be learning, always remain a student, but especially in your 20s, always be learning, always be going to conferences, always be learning from people older than you. Okay, guys, the best learning tool is not mistakes, it's learning from others' experience, okay? Yes, I can teach you today because of my mistakes, but if I did more learning and developing, I would be teaching you more from others' experience and passing knowledge down versus saying, man, I wish I would have did this. Please don't do this. Okay, fellas? So learning is self-development. I recommend going to conferences, networking events, getting mentors, taking courses, uh, anything that you can do to become the best version of yourself, your spirituality, your health, your fitness. Uh, your intersexual dynamics, learning how to talk to and speak to and communicate with women, uh, learning how to communicate with people, body language, everything. You should be learning and self-developing. All right, guys. Now, number eight mistake that I made a lot is partying. Okay, fellas, this is why I say you should not be partying in your 20s. All right, fellas, because this stuff ain't going anywhere, G. It's not going anywhere. I know you young and it's probably the best time to party. But check this out. All right. This is the dead honest truth. Partying is much more fun when you got a lot of money. All right. And when you've accomplished things and you're actually celebrating something versus just partying just because everybody else is doing it. I'm not saying you can't have fun from time to time. But at the same time, if you're not where you want to be in your 20s, is the time to get to where you want to be. Okay, guys, so if you're not where you want to be, you should not be partying. You can party in your 30s and your 40s. It's much more fun when you demand that you need to be and you got money and you don't have to worry about the check and how much it costs. And you can just relax and have an enjoyable time with your people, celebrating the things that you have accomplished, that you sweated, blood, tears, and all this stuff for. All right, fellas, this is 10 times more enjoyable. Now, number nine. I don't recommend committing to a woman in your 20s. All right, fellas, I do not recommend committing to a woman in your 20s, especially in 2024. All right, guys. Now, when I say this, I am speaking for today's age. All right, guys, when, when people hear this, they say, why you shouldn't commit to a woman in your 20s? What if you find a good woman? I'm like, yes, that's great. But in today's world, I do not recommend you committing to a woman in your 20s. All right, fellas, there's many, many reasons why, but the main reason why is this is the time for you to be doing all of these things that we're discussing today. And when you totally commit to a woman, like get married in your 20s, 
you are risking a lot in today's world when it even comes to the court system. That's one thing. But you are risking a lot of time when you commit to a woman in your 20s because committing to a woman, it takes time. You have to pay for dates. You have to spend time with this woman. You have to take care of this woman. You have to be there for this woman emotionally every day. Some people say, well, what's wrong with that? Isn't that be, being a man? Yes, but it's much better when you've taken care of yourself and you built yourself up to the man to be able to do that. All right. Again, I am not saying you shouldn't be dealing with women in your 20s, but you shouldn't be chasing women nor committing to a woman in your 20s. All right. You can have fun with them. When they come around, when they see you chasing your purpose, trust me, bro, when you're young and you on your purpose and you're in the best shape of your life, which we will get to next, and you're on your purpose, when you're in your 20s, even older women, they see potential in you. They're going to chase you, all right, fellas? They're going to chase you, so you ain't got to worry about chasing women, and if they don't chase you, whatever, you got more time to take care of yourself, all right, guys? Because I'm going to tell you, G, when you're, in your when you're in your 30s, you still feel young. You know, you still feel young and you still are young as a man. In, in man years, you still are young. You're just hitting your peak. All right, fellas. So what you got to understand is in your 20s, you're still a baby when it comes to a man. So get to work. Number 10, work on your physique. This is when your testosterone is at its highest. So you need to be working on building quality muscle in your 20s. Don't wait till you get in your later 30s and 40s to try to get into the gym. To the gym. Shout out to all my older guys. If you need, if you haven't been hitting the gym in your 20s and 30s and you just start now in your 40s, great job. Keep it up. But start early if you can. It is way better when you start early because when you start early and you put in 10 years from 20 to 30, every day or six times a week or five times a week or however long you've been working on your physique, however many days a week, a week and you develop that great physique, it's going to be a lot harder to lose it as you get older. All right, guys, there's a thing called muscle memory, and you develop dense muscle in your 20s if you consistently hit the gym. So I recommend you start early. Number 11, last one, networking. All right, fellas, networking. I recommend, especially if you're in university and you go to college, you need to be networking in your 20s. Don't be this lone wolf in your 20s. All right, fellas, you have energy. You need to be out there talking to people, networking. If you're in college, you need to be networking with the richest people in your university, with the most well-connected people in your university. Find out the people's last names in all of your classes, okay, guys? And if they have rich last names, you need to be getting connected with them, all right? No, forget all this, oh, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be myself. Nah, G, you need to play the game, all right? You need to be successful, all right? So network, go to conferences, go to events. Get inside groups, get mentors, get connected, fellas. It is much easier to do this in your 20s, all right, fellas? You have more time. You have more energy. You more than likely have less responsibilities in your 20s, so you'll be able to do this, all right, fellas? So anyway, I hope this video was useful. I hope you guys took notes. If you got value, please hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, guys, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you again. It's your boy, KD. We out of here, baby.